went to Oxford for two years, and I can tell you they're very globalist. That parliament right. is a globalist organization, okay? Correct. And you spoke about that. You said something about getting out of these treaty organizations. I want to ask both of you, each individually, do you advocate getting out of specifically NATO and the NATO treaty that we've been involved with since World War II? NATO is very outdated and it's forcing a lot of countries to do what they don't want to do and they could be giving that money to their citizens in other ways. Recently, didn't they just try to pass something where the president cannot get rid of NATO? Because I'm sure they know if a Republican president gets in that they're going to try to get rid of NATO. But there are you some countries like a, Yes, but there are some countries like Estonia and countries that are close to Russia that are going to have to figure something out within Europe because they do have some type of defense needs. And they feel safer having NATO, but NATO, as it stands, is a relic from the Cold War and has to be completely altered. And it's not fair to make these countries pay into that system. So, But some countries, again, are going to need a little help somehow. But that's something they're going to have to rearrange in Europe. And going back to that, I met with the conservatives. Even if conservatives took over the European Parliament, you have the European Commission, which is on top of that. The European Commission has to be taken over because every decision that's made at Parliament, the European Commission is throwing over and the globalists are controlling the European Commission. So even if they have you fill it up, it's, it's a huge mess and it's going to be hard to solve. But if they do put in that bill that doesn't allow the president to make a change, then we're going to be stuck and not be able to alter it. But we don't have to pay that. So one thing that we can never allow, which we have allowed through NATO, is to have foreign command over America, over our forces. In the field, we have to have total command. We cannot allow or cede to any international organization, including NATO, the power to control our forces in any field of, of battle or in even in doing uh, policing or any other function in the world. We have to pursue our own self-interest and that means that in the modern day era our self-interests are served only if NATO is advancing them. And the fact of the matter is NATO is not. And in order for us to reassert our role in defense of our own interests, we really have to get out of NATO. Either that or it has to be fundamentally reformed, there needs to be a new treaty, and we have to be absolutely clear that when the United States makes a decision, no other nation on earth can call it into question. If we're going to have our forces in the field, we need no interference. We had that all the way back to World War II when we, had, when we started NATO. We've had this interference and it's eliminated our effectiveness in the field. It's reduced the military's ability to be cohesive and functioning when you have to ask a foreign commander for authority for American troops to do one thing or another. So it's not only an absolute cost that is extraordinary for us and not for the rest of the world, President Trump tried to fix that, but it's also an issue of command control over American forces. Okay, we are out of time for this. Okay. We have to, this was so we cool, have you guys. I had a round of applause for everybody. Everybody, please sign their petition, okay? Because they need to get on the ballot, right? Anybody that lives in Virginia can sign it, okay? And don't forget, to let me get you know sign your petitions before you leave, okay? So now we are going to have five minutes from. Uh, Waverly Woods, she was one of our uh, chairs of the Virginia Beach Tea Party. I was her vice chair way back when, and she was also the chair of the Hampton Roast Tea Party. And she wants to make an announcement, I told her I'd give her five minutes. Yeah. Well, hello everybody. It's been a little while. I see a lot of familiar faces. Welcome. Nice to see you. Couple of kids in the back I recognize. Good to see you guys. Um, again, my name is Waverly Woods, and uh, I yes, I was a former chairman of the Virginia Beach uh, Tea Party here. I'm here to talk about Patty Lyman, who is our National Republican Committee woman for Virginia. She's a rock star. 
fact, she's a rock star. Many of you have met her. She spoke here a few times, um, and she's happy to come back whenever anybody asks. I want to talk about the process and getting her reelected. Um, I travel the state, and that's kind of like why I got here a little late tonight, because I am everywhere and all at one time. And so uh, the local units and the state party, so she represents us on a national level, and she's elected at the state convention. That's going to be in Hampton <coughs> this year. If you don't get her emails, please see me at the end so you can get more information. How you get to be a delegate is through your local unit, through the local Republican Party of Virginia. I will tell you that there is a game afoot, and some of you who have been a part of challenging previous uh, chairs of whether it's the Republican Party of Virginia Beach or whether it's a district chair, state chair, there have been a lot of shenanigans. And this election, I'm sure, will not be any disappointment. They will do that again. Several districts have already put out their calls and their deadlines, so you cannot, and they didn't publicize this either. This is supposed to be on the website of the Republican Party of Virginia, and somehow it's just not gotten there yet. So those district chairs will not be challenged. The third and the fourth districts are already wrapped up, but their units within have not and that's where delegate pre-files are sent so you find your local unit we have one here in virginia beach of course there's norfolk chesapeake wherever some of you folks are from if you're not all from virginia beach you need to get that delegate pre-file they are charging 45 dollars per person to participate in the state convention now why that's very unusual Usually they just have a optional fee that you can pay, but the Republican Party is broke. And most Republican parties are broke on a national level because of the decline in the faith of the Republican Party as a whole. And I'm not telling you this isn't Waverly's opinion, although I probably agree with them, but um, this is, if you haven't noticed, and, and the numbers don't lie, so you look at the November election, and the amount of Republicans that did not turn out to vote that normally do. Numbers don't lie. You look at the numbers and people have lost faith in the Republican Party all the way across the board, it's not just here in Virginia. What I am suggesting is the reason why is because many people stay home. They don't go and support the leaders that they want running their parties. They don't support the people that are in there for the long fight. And let me tell you a little bit about Patty Lyman, if you don't already know. She is an attorney. She's an immigration attorney. She has represented persecuted Christians leaving, fleeing Islamic countries. She has also worked with Jay Seculo, if you are familiar with that organization, in, in representing uh, peaceful protesters in front of abortion clinics. She is currently an active attorney here in Virginia and representing many people, many women fleeing the Sudan from genital mutilation. I don't get to hear about her clients and know who they are, but I know that's what she's representing. And she not only fights on that level and has done so for over 20 years, but she also is fighting to keep our platform on the national level. She was nominated to be on the resolutions committee um, at the national level by the former chair, and she was unanimously elected in. And she puts a lot of those resolutions that we challenge or have been challenged, she puts them up. So she's got a legal perspective on the state. There's been several claims where uh, your state central representatives misrepresent the law. And when they do that, Patty is the first one to say, that's not what that means. You're misquoting the law. So just FYI, please see me if you want to represent or be a delegate for Patty. You do fill out those forms through your local RPV VB unit, if anybody's a member of the Republican Party of Virginia Beach. And I'll be glad to answer some more questions. Thank you, Diane, for letting me have the time. No, no problem. Thank, Thank you so much.